You got plenty of room over here. I think you need to go more this way. Yeah, you need to go more this way. Morning from Sorrento. Mount Vesuvius right there and still a cloudy day, but I can see some blue sky. We wanted to rent a car here in Italy, so when we checked in, I asked the hotel if they could do it for us, and they did, which is really nice because they can have the car delivered to the hotel. So we're gonna check out and go to the car, and we're going to Matera, but we are going to this place called Pastium to see some Greek temples. Then from there, we will go to our final destination of the day, Matera. All right, let's go. It's not so heavy. Good. <laughs> Sure? Yes. Of course we put all the heavy stuff in the uh, <laughs> carry-on. Okay. Let's go. Will we fit? <laughs> we made it. <laughs> the backpack is pushing me forward. <laughs> I guess I'll get out first. <laughs> okay, we rented a car. And we'll be driving to our next destination. Oh my gosh, driving in Italy. Wait, I want to take a picture of the phone. Okay, taking our car. Cool looking car. This is a narrow part of the street here. I mean, if you're not careful, you can get stuck or get scratched. You got plenty of room over here. Yeah, you need to go more this way. Okay, I think we did it. <laughs> Good job, Shokin. Driving from Sorrento. like one lane and curves and all this stuff but it was doable thank goodness for Google Map <laughs> oh yeah But first, let's tour the museum before we go outside to visit the temples. detour stop to our destination because we wanted to see the temples in Pastium. What's so special about this place is that it has three Greek temples and it is the only 
standing Greek temples here in southern Italy. And you can see that they're in the Doric order. This used to be a major ancient Greek city on the southern coast of Italy, dating from about 600 to 450 BC. And they're still standing today. In the early Middle Ages, it was believed it was abandoned and left undisturbed and largely forgotten until the 18th century. And the reason why it was abandoned is some people think there was a malaria outbreak, so that's why they left everything here to move to another place. First temple we're gonna see is the Temple of Athena. Okay, I'm cheating here, but the Temple of Athena is standing on a small hill overlooking the central part of this Greek city. And Athena was portrayed as the protector of this city. Pretty much why she's on the hill. Woman power, I guess. <laughs> nice weather actually and I'm yeah. driving in Italy yes <laughs> <laughs> in the right side of the road <laughs> we went to this pastum place where these temples it just it was very very nice I'm glad that we stopped there in our way to Matera we rented a car and it's actually very nice because you can go in your own time if you want to stay in a place stay in a place for how long you want and I love renting the car. I think we made a good choice there. And instead of taking a train or a bus, and it's a very nice ride, actually. It's Citroen, French car. The roads are not busy. Which is good. Which is good. <laughs> This is the only place we found. <laughs> yes. So we got some fries, Snickers, and Diet Coke. Okay, we just got off the highway and now we're going up in elevation. It's at about uh, five kilometers to our destination, Matera. And then we have to find parking because it's uh, a village that's in 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 the mountain, I guess you could say. So parking is few and far in between. We found parking and now we're taking the shuttle to the bus stop next to our B&B. Just can't wait to see that. Yes. <laughs> Shella just dropped this off and it's just beautiful. The I can't describe it. This is the first time I've been in a place like this. <laughs> I know. We're going to our hotel now, which is a B and B. But oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Okay, we made it to our B&B. We're gonna end the video here, but the next video we will show you Matera. Oh my gosh. 
me show you a little preview.